Hello everyone, Happy New Year's 2021. Neo here, about to go through a Shider overview for you. I want to say a quick shout out to Tommy Click. Thank you for always supporting my video. Thank you for always commenting. Thank you. Who is Shider? Well, I started watching Shider when I was four or five years old in the 80s. I watched it alongside Mask Man, Kamen Rider Black, Dimos, Voltus 5, and Machine Man. It created a great childhood for all of us. This video will go through an overview of Shider. The heroes, the villains, the weapons, the items, the mech that he uses. If you want me to do any overviews for any Sentai or Tokusatsu show, please let me know in the comment, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube for more up-to-date videos from me. Are you ready? Let's get to know Shider. Twenty-one year old former archaeologist Dai Sawamura continues his father's research. Dai manages to decipher the Nazca figures in Peru and uncovers an altar that knocks himself unconscious. He is later found by the Galactic Union police. His achievement impressed the Galactic Union police so much that they recruited him to be Earth Space Sheriff Shider. Throughout the series, he eventually learned his fate is to finish Warrior Shider's duty and put an end to Fuma once and for all. Die is showered with plasma blue energy emitted from Babylon to form his armor within milliseconds. Dai does his signature pose by crossing his arms and yelling Shoketsu to transform into Shider. The name Shider comes from the ancient warrior who defeated Emperor Kubilai 12,000 years ago. Shider is Earth's protector against Fuma. Annie is Dai's girlfriend. That damn lucky bastard. Her homeworld, Mount, was destroyed by Fuma when she was young. She requested to be assigned to Earth with Dai to get revenge against Fuma. Annie is versed with many combat skills. She has perfect aim using the video view. She is usually in charge of getting the civilians to safety while Shider battles Fuma. I can probably fill 10 minutes of the video talking about Annie. Just look at her. Her talent makes Shider look like a sidekick. She doesn't need transformation to kick ass. Watch her fights. It's pretty fun. Nice shot. Kubilai is a three red-eyed former ruler of the Mu Empire. He corrupted the hearts and minds of humanity through his own gain. Kubilai is reduced to a giant head that is plastered on the wall of Fuma Palace throne. Kubilai was stopped by Warrior Shider a long time ago cutting off his head from his snake arm body. High Priest Po is Kubalai's 15,000 year old transvestite grandson who serves as advisor and strategist. Po also drinks an elixir made from young girls and Kubalai's energy every 500 years to maintain his youthful appearance. Wearing elegant white robes and the weapon Sky Cutter Scepter through which he shoots blue beams from its core. Commander Hessler is a sword-wielding leader of Kubalai's army. He is a very proud warrior but is easily irritated. Wearing his black armor, he commands the girl army and Miracular Combat Man. He oversees all of the attacks on Earth against Shider.
The girls' army are five deadly Kanoichi trained in dangerous combat arts. Their leader, Girl One, trains them for vicious attacks against Shider and Annie. The girl's army also serve under Commander Hessler on every FUMA mission. Miracular Combat Man, FUMA followers who wear Ragnda mask. They have big round eyes and fanged mouths, sporting sharp hatchets and rifles as their array of attacks. They also serve under Commander Hessler on every FUMA mission. Beast are the low-level creatures of FUMA. They are always in the throne room, just sitting and happy. They sometimes aid in FUMA missions that require them to assume forms. Fushigi beasts are psychedelic, deceptively comical looking creatures that Kubelai gives birth to. In the form of pearls called Fushigi beast eggs, using a special ceremony with the help of High Priestess Po. The Fushigi beast egg is placed within boiling Fushigi sea water. The pearl enlarges into a giant egg that Kubalai hatches with his beam to bring forth a monster. Fushigi Dimension is a subspace made of atomic particles that reaches temperatures around 6,000 degrees Celsius. Pretty hot. Fushigi Beast in the Fushigi Dimension becomes four times more powerful in an attempt to beat Shider. Of course, they all fail. Suzuki SJ, a stock mini SUV vehicle that Dai uses to patrol in plain civilian clothes. RX-7 Savannah FV, a yellow sports car from Mazda which Annie uses to patrol in civilian clothes. Super Shider Phone, a Walkman device used by Dai to contact Annie and intercept communications in civilian clothes. <laughs> Annie's watch also has an electromagnetic pulse where it emits a powerful energy that stuns enemies. Shider Punch. Shider performs a backflip before hitting his enemies with his fist. Shider Kick. Shider performs a running jump kick towards his enemies. Video Beam Gun. Shider and Annie's laser blaster to shoot enemies from a distance. The video beam gun is also equipped with a video based viewfinder for accurately targeting enemies. Shoot them away, Shider. Shider scope built into Shider's helmet that enhances his vision 
allowing him to see through obstacles or disguises. To locate invisible monsters and shoot them from afar. Laser Blade, Shider's main sword weapon that emits photon energy. His main weapon of choice to beat down enemies. Laser Blade can also turn into a whip called Laser Whip to grab those enemies from far away. Shider's finisher is called Shider Blue Flash. Goodbye, monster. Shider Blue Flash! Blue Hawk! Blue Hawk, a Suzuki motorcycle that serves as Shider's vehicle to enter the Fushigi dimension in order to chase down those nasty Fuma beasts. The Blue Hawk is capable of shooting Hawk lasers and Hawk missiles. Sky Cheyenne, a multi-part tank that splits into Sky Cheyenne fighter jet that fires Cheyenne beam. Battle Cheyenne, a drill tank that contains Cheyenne rockets to attack enemies on the ground. The tank drills underground and is capable of rescuing people captured by Fuma. The tank is also equipped with Cheyenne Searcher. Babylos is the headquarters of Shider and Annie. It circles around the earth. Babylos! Whenever Shider enters the Fushigi dimension and encounters a giant Fuma gunship, he summons Babylos, commanding it to transform into a giant gun called Big Mag. Babylos can also turn into a giant robot called Babylos Robot. Its chest shoots giant lasers and also fire from its hand. Thank you for watching Shider. I hope you learned a lot about Shider and everything that surrounds him. If you want me to create a show overview for any of your favorite Sentai Tokusatsu or anime show, just leave me a comment and I will try to do it on my end. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube for more up-to-date videos from me. Thank you and have a great day.